Which royal family will rule the lanes tonight? Chris and Ryan Barnes still sit upon their thrones, but two other families are in line to end their rule. PBA legend Parker Bone III and his powerful son Brandon, and Hall of Famer Carolyn Doran Ballard and her daughter Alyssa. Those two families square off for the chance to dethrone the barn. Next on the PBA King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition. And tonight we wrap things up. Will the Barnes family still be sitting on the throne when the evening is done? Not if Parker Bone the third and Brandon Bone have anything to say about it. Ditto for Carolyn Doran Ballard and her daughter Alyssa Ballard. Glad you're with us. Rob Stone, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson, the Queen, Kimberly Fressler will join us momentarily. Team Barnes is going to try to wrap up this. The debut edition of the King of the Rain, King of the Lanes, Royal Family edition, where they concluded the last couple nights sitting on that throne. But man, there are two powerful bloodlines that are going to be gunning for them tonight, right? Let's start with the Bone family. Well, I mean, Parker Bone the third, he's uh, one Not of the enough greatest. enough said, right? One of the greatest there. It's our first all Southpaw team, by the way. But Parker Bone the third, 35 career titles on the regular tour. That's fifth all time. And his son, Brandon, you want to talk about power? Oh, man. Uh, power personified. That kid can really bring it. That arm, I, I think it, it almost like can do a 360 we're, yeah, with its rotation. We're going to show you the move in slow-mo. All right, but the real story, at, le at least for me, is the lone female team that we've seen so far out here yeah. at the King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition, the Hall of Famer, Carolyn Doran Ballard and her daughter, Alyssa, who is following in mom's footsteps. Yeah, she really is. I, I mean, Carolyn, what can you say about her? 22 titles, Hall of Famer, maybe one of the most tenacious female players on that tour that I've ever seen. And then her daughter right behind her, like you said, she's heading to Vanderbilt. Yeah, a great program in women's collegiate bowling. So yeah, the apple, as we've been saying for the last couple of nights, doesn't fall very far from the tree and Kimberly standing by with CDB and Alyssa. Thanks guys. Well, Rob and Randy just talked about the fact that you guys are the only all female team in this event. Are you guys feeling extra pressure to beat all the guys out here? I, I don't feel any extra pressure. Uh, I just thought this was a really cool event. I'm so glad they uh, decided to invite us, you know, as the lone females. And I keep telling her this is all about her today. I want her to enjoy the moment. This is a great experience for all of the kids. And I think there's every parent out here saying, you know, it's about you and this is the future of our sport. I absolutely agree with that and I love that sentiment as well. But Alyssa, let's talk about the fact that you guys got a powerhouse team over there that you have to take on. Are you ready? What's the game plan? Um, so far, the game plan for me is that this is my first television show, so I'm just going to bowl, and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> and there you have it. Smart young lady yeah. right there. Rob, it's kind of like me when I wake up in the morning. I really don't have a plan. I just <laughs> figure like, it out. Hey, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the Ballards versus the Bones to meet the Barnes. She is a member of Junior Team USA, Miss Alyssa Ballard. Her mom is a 22-time pro titleist with three majors, Hall of Famer, Carolyn Doran Ballard. Hey, Rob, you know what? She's married to a Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah. Dale Ballard Jr. He's here. You want to know something else? Please. She was runner-up for Player of the Year in 94, 95, 96, and 97 before winning it in 2001. She's one of my favorites. Really one of my absolute favorites. So it'll be her daughter, Alyssa, committed to Vanderbilt in early May. Vanderbilt, they've won two NCAA championships. What is she scared of? Driving. Driving. She's got her permit, but no rush to get that license. Melissa's first shot, a little right of target, I no boy. That's okay, happen. come on, that's all right. Come on, get two. Come on, got this. Come on. 
Very similar style to her mother. As Chris and Ryan Barnes watch on. They're getting awfully comfortable in that robe, aren't they? Yeah. Get over there. Come on! All right. All right. I told you that I didn't have I did No, because we started. Open frame for the Ballards as we now meet Team Bone. A member of Junior Team USA attending Mount Mercy University in Cedar Rapids, Iowa this fall, Brandon Bone. His dad owns 35 career PBA Tour titles with three majors. PBA Hall of Famer, Parker Bone III. Parker wore the crown a little bit last year, so he's no stranger to this event. Fifth all-time in tour titles, but he's fourth all-time in money. His three majors, the USBC Masters, the World Championships, and the Players' Championship. Oh, he is? Glasses. Did he borrow those from PDW? <laughs> uh, this kid is a hoss, by the way. Senior in high school, six foot two. Whips it down and drops them all. He's got one of the fastest hands at the bottom of the swing I've ever seen. Look at that wrist. Usually it's kind of cupped at that yeah, no, point. Right, right. Look at it. It's inverted. And here's his dad, the legend, Parker Bone III. Pretty good start for Team Bone. Yeah. Come on here. Come on, bud. And a look at Parker. They couldn't be more different, him and his son. Remember Parker took down Jesper Svensson? And then he beat Chris Barnes. Last year? Yeah, last year. We've got the OG edition of King of the Lanes coming your way Thursday and Friday night here on FS1. Carolyn Dorn. Come on! Her first effort, she gets them all to go. Come on now. Hey. Oh, come on now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, she does the best. CDD, all she can do is embarrass Alyssa. Like, no matter what she says, what she does, Alyssa's like, yeah, not happy. Yeah. She is, you know what Alyssa is? She's a daddy's girl. She is. She's and she, Carolyn knows that too. She's Carolyn's bowling clone, right. but she's more like Dell. Yeah, and there is Dell. There's Dell. Hold your head. Come on. There you go. I'm a two first time. But remember, I said in the open, tenacious is how you would describe Carolyn, right? Yeah. I mean, even in an event like this, she throws one strike, comes out swinging. <laughs> I meant to do that on the first shot. And then we go, we go quickly back to business, right, with Brandon Bone. Is, is he working on some gum there, too? This is one of the best games I've seen in a long time. Oh, seriously, man. Seriously. I mean, listen, NIL. Let's, let's find this kid a name, image, likeness deal. And ditto for Alyssa as well. As we take a look at today's Brunswick oil pattern, the Carmen Salvino 44. Did you say the D? Carmen Salvino? One more time. The, the Carmen, Carmen Salvino. Salvino. You see where the right, you see where the righties are playing. That's where the lefties are playing. Parker's going to be a little bit farther to the left because of obvious reasons. He throws it straighter. That's an opening hand bone for Team Bone. Come on, there. All right. Keep playing, follow the leader. Right, I like it. So back to Carolyn. She struck in the second. Her daughter Alyssa followed that up with a strike in the third. Three majors won by Carolyn Dorn Ballard. 32 years as a pro. Man, what a career she's had. Yep. She looks younger every time I see her, by the way. Get there! Come on, seven! Good pitcher. God dang it. Freaking pitch it. Crap. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, I love her. Priceless. <laughs> it's 
there. It, one of the things that was really interesting when we were, we were talking with Carolyn and, and Alyssa the other day, like, you know, what we know of, of CDB is, like you just said, like, she is a competitor. She's fiery. She's such a sweetheart, but she's all business out there, right? Yeah. But Even when she's around Alyssa, she's like mom. She's just a toting mom and just. But she has to remind herself to pull the reins back. Yeah. Come on, Alyssa. Looks good. Yeah, sure does. Gets another strike there. We we asked Carolyn, I was like, hey, how are you going to be when you drop her off at, at college in the fall? She's like, I'm going to be a mess. Yeah. Absolute train wreck. Yeah. She says, I've ha I have so much anxiety now. <laughs> right. You know what my favorite thing about Alyssa is? Tell asked me. her her favorite movie. She oh, says, there we go. I love Star Wars. Yeah. And I said, all right, which, which episode? She said, episode six, Return of the Jedi. And I'm like, without hesitation. I'm like, by the we, way. Could, we could so hang yep. and watch uh, just marathon at Star Wars. Oh. So, let me tell you, Mount Mercy University in Cedar Rapids, yeah. Iowa, you got yourself a big time talent coming your way. Yeah. This kid's going to be a star. I asked him who, who his coach is, and he said, this guy. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, well, you know how it is. Yeah, I know. Listen kids. to dad, but if dad's a two-time PBA player of the year, so your, what? your ears open up a little bit more. Looking for six in a row is Team Bone. I got, got it. I got. Yeah, spinning messenger got dizzy got. and couldn't make it there. All right, so let's say, does it, do any of your kids play soccer? Mm hmm And do you coach them? Not much. Okay, thank you. I try. You know what's great, though, is my wife is like, hey, you know, your dad's only done this, this, and this, and does that, and you might want to listen to him. No, nah, I'm good. My kids didn't even know I did television until, like, two years ago. Uh, my kids spend most of the weekends, where's dad? Uh, he's doing this job thing. All right. All Team Bone early on. Team Ballard, though, trying to get themselves into it. They picked up momentum as of late. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash-out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia in the new Forte GT. It is one fantastic ride. <laughs> Rob, Randy, Kimberly, back here with you at Bolero, Jupiter, Florida, in our continuing coverage of the 2022 King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition. Hey, Chris, let's uh, talk real quick about uh, your impression of Brandon Bone. I know how, how uh, <laughs> impressed you were by Caden and by Jordan, but I mean this kid. Caden, Jordan, Ryan, uh, Brandon, uh, I, I guess I'm glad that none of them are older than they are because uh, my retirement's coming soon. Uh, they, they throw a fantastic. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, I'm glad one of them's on my team. And, uh, you know, at, at watching Alyssa here come through as well, it's, it's, uh, it's a good thing they have parents to help, help even the pace out. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. Alyssa's <laughs> on her way to Vanderbilt. Uh, that's a fantastic school. We know a lot of them have gone there, and uh, uh, this crew is so talented. It's, it's very cool to watch. Uh, the future is bright in this sport, for yep. sure. You know, and, and we've got these generations and generations of championship-level bowling through, through women's and men's bowling out here. And, like, this event, this Royal Family Edition, it's got a lot of legs to it. You know, we could, we could just the, – the ginger assassin could be out here with his dad, right? Yeah. The Nyers could be out here. Uh, Team Tackett. The Tangs, the McCunes, three generations of champions. Another strike there from Carolyn Doran Ballard. Yeah, you know, you, you mentioned the McCunes. You had Don, uh, who was a PBA champion, Eugene, a PBA champion, and now, and now brother Kevin, who's a regional champion, and it's probably the front runner for Rookie of the Year honors this season. Hey, anybody in um, Nashville wants to give this young lady an NIL deal, get after it, because she's going to be a star. Very nice. Awesome. Very nice. Hey, I actually threw a good shot. Great. For once. You're great. Yeah, by the way, if, if you take the shot from 
behind Brandon Bone, yeah. you would just think, oh, I'm watching the PBA. Yeah. Right? You're like, oh, this, this monster of a man, this six foot two giant from Jersey, yeah, mind. fits right in. Boy, I wonder how many titles this guy has won. None yet, but they're coming. That's, a, that's as good a game as I've ever yeah. seen in, in youth bowling. Hey, junior bowlers, here's your chance to become a PBA junior national champ and compete to win more than $10,000 in smart scholarships at PBA.com. Today, you can sign up and find a PBA junior regional qualifier near you. We saw the list of some of those locations. Then another strike. For Par I mean, between Parker and Brandon, they, they haven't given Carolyn and Alyssa any, any room to move up the food chain. A little bit, a lot more that one. Eight frames, seven strikes. Brandon yet to miss. But it's the Ballards now working on three straight strikes. They need to keep this run going as they try to close this 31 pin gap. Such a great show for me to just sit back and say nothing. Mom. All right, cut it to 11 right here. How about that stat? Get up the hill. Great shot. Stupid Ted Pin. Beautiful. And you see Ryan and Chris Great Barnes, job. the reigning kings of the lane here in this Royal Family Edition, awaiting the winner of this one match, Doubles Baker Showdown. In your words, stupid tent pin. Mm -hmm. I agree. Awesome. Yes. yes. Awesome. I made a spare. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so his, his his dad won 35 times on the tour. That's a that's a tall task. Fifth all time yeah, in the history. Ooh. Hang on a minute. This isn't over yet. I wonder how many titles this young man's gonna win. Uh, it's gonna be double digits. Come on, take your time, give it a chance. He's already won 11 times on the Pennsylvania Junior Bowlers Tour, including one in early April. Bowled in the U.S. BC Youth Open as an eight-year-old. All right, good shot. That, that pin, shot. however, is out for the season. Yeah. Straight to the blue tent. Concussion protocol has been called. So an open frame, making things a little spicier here. Parker, though, two strikes can close this one out. There's one. Hey, Rob, you know what? If Parker doesn't strike on this next shot, you know what, you know what could happen? Carolyn and Alyssa could win. I'm tired of king of the lanes. How about some queens of the lanes? We already got one queen down there. Let's see if we can get a couple more. This for the shutout. Just when you thought it was over, Carolyn, if Parker spares her, Carolyn needs two strikes and nine. Two and nine. Come on, well, we have seen the vets step up the last couple nights. Chris Barnes has done it multiple right. times. 
with it on the line in the 10th, needing two and change. How big is that ring in 10 that Alyssa left in the ninth? Wow. The Hall of Famer. It's a strike in nine. That's the CDB we know. 57 years young. CDB. There's no way she's 57. You are wrong. You've been given some wrong information. That's what it says. 47, on, maybe. That's maybe. That's what it says on my stat nope, sheet. No, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Must get a strike here. Come on. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Now needs nine. Oh my that yeah. I knew she was gonna do that. Look how locked in she is. You, you never forget. I mean, it doesn't matter if you haven't been there in a while. Your brain never forgets these moments. Yeah. And by the way, this is a great daughter-mom moment. Mom's stock is going up in the house right oh now. Oh, my goodness. No more laundry for a week. Breakfast in bed. Just needs, needs nine. Nine. For the win! Yeah. We got it! <laughs> How about that? The Queens move on! The satisfying moment of the match, sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. Carolyn Doran Ballard needed two and nine, celebrates with her husband. She got two and then one more for good measure. Grateful. I know. I the, the, the one. Thank you. The one. The one ten. Uh, oh my goodness. Side, I, I mean, with the way the Bone family I started, five straight strikes, it, six it, strikes it, in the first, yeah. rather seven then, strikes in the first eight frames, and then that open frame in the ninth. And here's CDB in Good. the tenth. Yeah. So good. Now we're back here tomorrow night at Bolero Jupiter on FS1, 9 Eastern, with our traditional PBA King of the Lanes action, the OG version. Contenders Norm Duke, maybe one of the last times you're ever going to see Norm bowl on television as he takes on Carlos Granados. They face off to meet the reigning king, Jason Sterner, tomorrow night at 9 Eastern. But here on the Royal Family Edition, Carolyn Doran Ballard needed nine, got ten and the 237-235 victory over the Bone family. Kimberly standing by with CDB and her daughter, Alyssa. What an amazing match to watch. And Carolyn, you needed two strikes and nine, and you got three strikes. Walk us through that. Well, um, I will admit now that the last thing I said to Del when we walked over here was like, oh my God, I don't want to let her down. I did, but I didn't talk about it all day. And uh, you know, when you're bowling Parker Bone, for God's sake, I mean, you're gonna have to strike and Brandon is taking right after his dad. So I assumed that the, you know, I was hoping the match would be close. They gave us an opportunity, bad break for Brandon, tried to take advantage of it and I tried to make the best two shots I could. <laughs> and Alyssa, how impressed with your mom are you? Because she was absolute clutch when she needed to be. Um, actually, I am, this is going to sound bad, but I'm not very impressed because she's done it before. I told her, <laughs> I told her right before she went up into 10th frame, you've done this before, do it again. Absolutely. She set the bar up high and you're expecting that of her. I absolutely love that. Continue on, ladies, and uh, good luck in the next match. <laughs>
<laughs> as soon as I heard that question, I go, I know how this is gonna play out. The pause, not very impressed. Yeah. So I wanna remind you, this is the king of the lanes. We might need a rewrite. Queens of the lanes are what we might be saying. Coming up next, Team Barnes trying to hold on to their crown. But watch out, the queen may have other ideas. We welcome you back to Bolero, Jupiter, Florida, and the online graphics you see tonight, including the ball tracer, courtesy of Clutch Bowling. And we are getting closer and closer to crowning our king, or will it be a queen here at the King of the Lanes Royal Family Edition? We've got the crown, we've got the tiaras, and we've got four combatants. And what a thrilling come from behind win for Alyssa and her mom, Carolyn Doran Ballard, earlier as they took care of Parker Bone and his son Brandon. Up next though, the Barnes. They claimed it Monday night, held on to it Tuesday night, trying to keep it here Wednesday night. Good shot, bear it up, come on, stay with it. Come on. Unlike some of the other matches we've seen, Rob, the Ballards are staying on the same lanes that they just came off of in that first game. You like that strategy? I really do. They know exactly how the lane's playing for them. Another spare pick up there for Alyssa. All right, here's the champs. A member of Junior Team USA and Wichita State sophomore, Ryan Barnes. His dad owns 19 career PBA Tour titles with three majors, PBA Hall of Famer, Chris Barnes. Long live the Kings. I'll tell you what, it's been a lot of Ryan in this competition. Remember what Chris Barnes did in their opening match? He needed two strikes, got it. But Ryan's been rock solid. Chris has done everything you could possibly do. He's gone straight, he's hooked it. Pretty strong team, Rob. Yeah, very strong. They earned that crown Monday night, taking care of the Troop family. Kept it last night and trying to conclude this event. Ryan starts off with a strike. I'm playing that. That's <laughs> Is that a helicopter? Yeah, no kidding. It's like a, we're going to call that head pin chopper. Right, Come on. And Chris up now, his son Ryan rolls collegiately at Wichita State. Chris also went to Wichita State. Two-time All-American there. And 10-pin. Right down. So let me ask you, do you, do you think Alyssa and Carolyn have any chance? Yeah. Listen, the, the Barnes haven't given anybody much of a chance, right? Mm -hmm. They have been so solid, but the way things have going, and I think Alyssa has kind of settled some of those early nerves, some of those jitters. And CDB is being a Hall of Famer. You can breathe now. They were given one you opening know. by the well, Bones, and I'm they jumped on it. Feet, so. Spare for Alyssa, Carolyn. Hello. It's all ten. A little late collapse there on the left side. Nice little hit here for C D B. Hit him thin and watch him spin, Rob. Daughter Alyssa, off to Vanderbilt University this fall. And that's why. How about you? Great shot, Alyssa. She's been bowling since she was four years old. Already a member of the Junior Team USA. Ryan hops back up. Ryan with a strike in the first. His dad followed with a nine spare. Oh. 
Uh oh. Didn't like it. My goodness. 21.4 miles per hour. That ball creates its own vortex as it goes through the pins. It's crazy. back-to-back -back nine spares for the Barnes right, camp each weekday morning. Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. They go head-to-head -head on the day's hottest sports topics, undisputed with Skip and Shannon. Weekdays, 9.30 a.m. to noon Eastern, only on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. Did you know all four parents are in the Hall of Fame? Linda Barnes, Chris Barnes, Del Ballard, Carolyn. Oh, that's amazing. Shot. I didn't even... It didn't even pop in my head for some reason. Yeah. And, and as soon as you said it, like, of course. Right. Yeah. The Hall of Famers. Yeah. Hall of Famers breed Hall of Famers. Yeah. You know what apple trees make? Apples? Apples. Big miss for Carolyn. You can see it right here on strike track powered by Kia. But a nice break just leaving the 10 pin. She knew it was left the whole way, and it was. Bad time for that, really, though, because they can extend their lead by a bunch. Brings that one up. Love the walk away. She's got to teach Elisa that one. But listen, when you go, it's there. Just walk away from it. You don't need to see it go down. I'll freak out your future competitors at Vanderbilt. That's six lanes on campus, by the way. They're in Nashville at yeah. Vanderbilt University. I've been to the facility in Wichita State. I can't remember how many lanes, but I think it's more than that. Great shot, Alyssa. They've got a, a, an awesome facility there as well. Thank you. Rick Steelsmith heading up that program now after the long run by the great Gordon Vatigan. The All-American Ryan Barnes. Messenger cannot deliver the 10. They had a couple messengers trying to knock it down. That was violent. Behind it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's just violent. He nudged it. There's the walk away. All right. Love me a good single pin walk away spare. <laughs> yep. Can yep. they hold on? All right. They took care of the troop family Monday night. Yeah. And then it was the Russell family last night. Yeah. Now trying to fend off the Ballards. 10 pin lead for Chris and Ryan. It's gotta go. Oh. It went. So did all 10. Yeah, another strike for Chris and his son Ryan. Carolyn and Alyssa trying to keep things tight and they've done that through five and a half. We wrap it up when we return here to Bolero, Jupiter. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Get cash out of your home's equity with a cash-out refi from Guaranteed Rate. Learn more at rate.com. And by Kia in the new Forte GT. It is one fantastic ride. Final frames of the first edition of the royal family version of the King of the Lanes set to come. Will it be King or will it be Queen of the Lanes? Carolyn Dorn Ballard working on a strike thrown by her daughter Alyssa. Great 
great shot. Snark from CDB. Yeah, it looked pretty good, and then it broke loose right at the 1-3. Oh, Got it. Walk away. Let's oh, call that our spare of the game, up. sponsored by Guaranteed rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed rate. Believe you will. What's the saying about spares? Strike something and spares something. something. <laughs> you nailed it, pal. I can't remember. Here's Alyssa on the left lane. In the seven. Gets oh, all ten. Yeah. Alyssa doing her job, doing her part. Oh, and now it's, 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 it's kind of like, come on, Mom. Yeah. Hey, hey, mom bailed you out in the last game. Got you here. Now Alyssa doing her part. Started with the nine spare. Since then, three straight strikes for Alyssa. This kid's got game, folks. Ryan Barnes. Gonna ride a target. Left just the 10. You're all right. Come on, start up. Well, they could have tied it with a strike there. They keep letting the Ballards hang around. Takes care of that single pin spare. Come Tune on. in to Race of Weeknights here on FS1. Right. On. Expert okay. analysis and opinions from the best in NASCAR as they break down the hottest names inside the car and out on the track. Race up weeknights, 6 Eastern on FS1 in the Fox Sports app. Back to action here. Three frames left. And the Barnes family hold on to their crowns. Oh. That was way better than the last one. Ah, uh, I don't. Now they just can't seem to catch up to Team Ballard. They've hit the pocket every shot, and every time they don't strike, they leave a 10 pin. Look out. Uh, 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 uh. Didn't like his footing, did he? No, he did not. Like the body language on that one was dicey. Look at the max scores down here. Whoops, yes, it was there. 248, 218. Or excuse me, 249, 218. 218. Tried to overthrow a little bit off of it too. I tried to overthrow mine. Looking to make it a double with CDB. That looks good. Come on, babe. Real good. Now, now I don't want to, you know, make anybody upset or throw salt in the wound, but a, a while back, Chris Barnes did lose to the great Kelly Kulik at the Tournament of Champions. TOC. So he's he's been on the other end of this. Yeah, for sure. Hey, he knows the damage queens can do. I like this young lady. Her game, her demeanor. Hold, hold, hold. Oh my goodness. How about a 31 pin lead? Oh, look at the fist look pop and pop. Yeah, baby Dell. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Strongest piece in chess is? Queen, of course. Who has a 31 pin lead? The Queens. Ryan trying to cut into that. Hi. He's done. And it's up to the vets right now. 
no matter what Chris does here, if he strikes out, the Ballards just need a mark in the 10th frame. And you know who's stepping up in the 10th frame for the Ballards? Oh, the closer. The closer, Carolyn. The queen closer, CDB. Look at her, look at her eyes are closed, look. Yeah. She's like, whatever you throw is fine. I just gotta worry about me. If he doesn't strike here, they have zero chance. Yeah, it's a it's a king match. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. You might have a uh, graphic fix. Hmm. Maybe the queen match. Hmm. Hey, by the way, when we're done here, head on over to the uh, PBA YouTube channel. Just a couple minutes, it will be the PBA post show presented by Kia. We'll take you through everything that went down here at the first ever edition of the King of the Lanes Royal Family. And we're gonna have to make some new graphics at this point. And this is not gonna be King of the Lanes much longer, particularly if this isn't a strike. Oh, nice little, little kick of that 10 slider down. Well, that'll put him in the two teens. The Ballards are in the 220s already. But Chris knew he needed at least a double in the 10th to have any chance. Now this fill shot here is big as well. Every pin matters. We saw that in our opening match tonight. Oh boy. Oh boy, way rocks. Right there, right there. Oh, he's gonna right get there. nine. Oh my goodness. Extremely fortunate. 217. <laughs> Carolyn, any mark will do. And that left one in a tight spot. Right. Carolyn and right Alyssa, 237, yeah. 235 winner in their opening showdown against the Bone family. Just two pins separating those two legendary families in the sport. You can hear her breathing. Mm -hmm. Any mark. Just wow. Yeah. Just, just wow. So awesome. Just wow. Alyssa's laughing and smiling. Mom is like, losing baby, it. Baby, just losing that's it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, CDB style. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> She's the best. Uh. Oh my God. It's over, but she's not content, right? She's like, just pile on. Just keep on adding those pins. <laughs> what an emotional moment <laughs> with Carolyn Dorn Ballard. You know, that's one parent to another right there. Her husband watching. She knows you don't get many more opportunities to do something like this in a family type setting at the highest level. The family's, the family's been through a Don't lot. Cry. Yeah, have a, a lot of illness for Del Ballard. But there's no quit, no giving up in that, in that family. Don't cry! <laughs> Which one do you want? Hey, the queen okay. can cry if she wants we're going, to. We're going, we're going. Yes! Find those tiaras! Goodness, so we've got Queens of the Lanes, but we've got more PBA King of the Lanes coming your way tomorrow here on FS1. We go back to the OG format. Speaking of OGs, I mean, one of the best ever, Norm Duke. Carlos Renato's in action, and the reigning king, Jason Sterner, will be there as well. For Randy Peterson, Kimberly Presser, and our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. You've been watching the PBA on FS1, and we've got a rewrite. It is no longer the king of the lanes, it is the queen of the lanes. Congratulations to Carolyn Doran Ballard 
and Alyssa Ballard, your queens of the lanes in 2022.